Hey guys, um, this is Donnie. I'm just doing a uh, an update video uh, for all of you, uh, for our brother Jeff, Jeff Townsend. As you know, he got put in the hospital and uh, I spoke to him last night. He's doing really good. Praise the Lord Jesus. But he had asked me to, um, if I would put out a thank you, I'm sorry about the hacking. Guys, this is my third time trying to film this. And uh, they either come up and bark beside me or they start the hacking. And he's eating grass and he's choking on it. So forgive me for that, please. The, um, he wanted me to let everyone know what was going on. He said to go ahead and tell you, let you know everything um, so that everyone's updated. He was extremely grateful to all of you for the prayers, for the, uh, those of you that are energy people, you work with energies and you send healing energies and our spiritual people. He thanks everyone. He said he loves everybody. Thank you tremendously. And uh, th uh, this was a really close call. And what had happened, if you remember last year, Jeff was put in the hospital. He had a, come on, get off the fence. I'm sorry about the camera shaking. He got put in the hospital last year and he had to have a stent put in his heart. And uh, he had half of his big toe amputated due to a bone infection. Well, this time uh, what happened he had ordered dinner for himself and a couple of his friends and he went to pick up their meals and when he got there he was in the parking lot for um, where you pick your orders up at he called him told him that he was there and told him where he was parked at and uh, when the young man came outside to deliver his meals to him Jeff was still in the car but he was unresponsive and the young man could not get him to um, he was out and uh, so anyway they called 911 the ambulance came and uh, they took him to the hospital Jeff he remembers getting there he remembers calling him to tell him that he was in the parking lot waiting for their food and then he remembers waking up in a hospital bed and what had happened, the, uh, the bone infection came back, same foot, but it was in his little toe. And uh, they took him in yesterday. Uh, originally, they were going to start him on a, I think he said a six week or six month antibiotic and intravenous and IV where he'd keep the, like keep a pick line in him. And he would come in and have antibiotics, heavy doses put into him until they got it beat. But after running tests on him, they came to the, the decision that they've got to operate now. He had that much poison in his bloodstream. They thought his heart was going and the issue with his foot. They ended up, they took him in, they amputated his little toe and they amputated the bone directly behind the little toe, um, the bone in the foot. Yeah, it had infection in it. And now they're waiting on a biopsy to make sure they got all of it. And uh, today they're supposed to come in with a special boot that they'll fit him with. It'll go over that foot and it's got a reservoir in it and a constant vacuum. And what it does is it vacuums out any fluids that try to build up where they amputated that toe and the, that bone in the foot. It'll draw out those fluids and it'll store them in a little reservoir. And then he has to go in to the wound clinic uh, once a week or once every two weeks and they will remove the reservoir, they'll clean it out, uh, they'll address his wound and then they'll put the reservoir back in it and send him on his way. And then a couple weeks, a week or two weeks later, he'll, he'll keep doing this. And I believe he said it was for either six weeks or six months. I don't recall. I was getting in bed when he called last night. And, but he said he was feeling a, a lot better. He felt really good. This morning, 
I chatted with him uh, through text message, and he said he's feeling really good this morning. Hopefully, he'll get to go home today, but that depends on the results of the biopsy to make sure they got all of the infection and uh, them showing up to put that boot on him. From my understanding, that boot, there's not many of them here. There's not many at all. And um, he's one of the very few lucky people that get to uh, use that boot. Uh, they're very hard to come by, very expensive, and the hospital had one, and they're putting it on. But uh, the they thought he, the problem was in his heart and in his foot, and what they found out was that the infection, the bone infection, was so bad that he was being poisoned, and it was affecting his heart in a, in a bad way. If he would have waited much longer, it probably would have taken his life. Um, it was a very serious situation he was in, uh, life-threatening, literally. But he's pulled through it. You know, just praise God for his intervention. Holy Spirit jumped up inside Jeff and those doctors, just all around that entire situation. And God's presence has just covered everything. And uh, he's doing well. So hopefully he'll go home today. But he just, he asked me if I would just put out a message to thank everyone and to update all of you with what's going on with him and how he's doing. And that's exactly what I'm doing here now. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we get Brother Jeff cared for. Now, Jeff had originally planned to go to the meet and greet up in Talladega on the October 4th through the 6th, I believe, at that hunter, or Holland's hunting camp. And uh, it's a free campsite up there from what I found out online. And he's what sure he could make it, but he's going to try with everything within him to make it. Rosie and I are going. We're going to ride the motorbike up there. This will be my first time going out. It will be my first time camping outdoors since my encounter uh, back in Mariana in 2010. But anyhow, um, if any of you are going to be up there, uh, shoot me an email. Let me know that you're going. Um, I'd love to be able to meet you know, as many of you as, as I could. But if you're going to be up there around that time, I'd love to be able to see you. Meet you in the flesh. It'd be a good time. And uh, Jeff is planning on, on going. He should be there. He's most likely not going to be able to get out and about, but he'll be there. And Rosie is just really anxious to see him. That is her grandpa, Jeff, and she adores Jeff. She is absolutely just, she is, uh, I don't even know the word, she is so attached to him. But it's a blessing because when we adopted Rosie, we were her grandparents. And um. When we adopted her, she lost us as being grandparents and gained us as being parents. And so she doesn't have, you know, a, a grandfather that um, that loves her. And, and anyway, we're not going to go down that road. Uh, this is about Jeff. Jeff's doing well. We'll get him home and uh, everything will be awesome. And hopefully I'll, I'll be seeing him in a few weeks at Talad up there near, it's between uh, Talladega and Sylacauga, Alabama. It is at the Hollins Hunting Camp or Hollings Hunting Campground. And uh, I've been trying to find the address and it's got a very strange address. I don't understand it. It's not a an address like you would normally see. So I'm not sure exactly how to plot my trip yet, but uh, we will be there. I'll leave early enough that uh, we'll have enough time to if I get lost or turned around up there trying to find the place, I should still be able to get there, provided the weather holds out. Hopefully we have good weather. But anyhow, y'all have an amazing weekend. Enjoy yourself, but be safe in whatever you do. Be kind and be blessed. And if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate. Shoot me an email. My email address is standinggoatsrescue at yahoo.com. Um, I think I'm caught up now. 
I believe, um, or I should be anyway, with the emails. But I, I will respond to you. And I did check my spam box. I had two emails that were almost two weeks old that were sent to spam for some reason. I, I don't understand why Yahoo keeps doing that. But anyway, I got to let the goats out for a little bit before the rain starts again. We're going to let them feed. Let me get this camera down. I got it mounted on the T-post. They are waiting to go out. There's Louie. There's our big boy, Louie. And when, there's a few of them down there in the hoop house. But we let them out here. We let them get out here and, and graze. Cleaning that stuff up. They've done a really good job at it, but got a long way to go. We'll see you guys soon. Be well, be blessed. We love you. Bye-bye.